process to succeed in sales. Identify your ideal client. What type of job do you want? What area of real estate are you doing? What job size? What area? What is the ideal client that you would like to work with? A lot of times people go into sales blind saying, well, everybody's my customer, everybody's my client. When in real terms, that's not true. You have to identify the type of client you want so when you see them or meet them, you know that that fits your wheelhouse. So learn to minimize and try to find ways to find your avatar client. Second thing, connect with them authentically. Social media is great for that, direct messages. Say, hi, my name is Mr. Ogden, you have a great profile, let's connect. 90% of the time, people will engage you back because you're asking them about who they are, what they're doing, and what you're trying to find out about their brand. So this is why connect with them and find out about them and what are they looking for and what is their vision to succeed in real estate or real estate investing. LinkedIn has a profile sales navigator and has some uh, direct ads you can utilize to help expand your business as well for very, very cheap pricing. And I use it in my business. Listen genuinely. When people talk, don't look this way or that way. Don't look at your phone. Really look them in the eye or on the phone. Really just have your senses up. People can tell on the phone if you're listening or not. Because you'll say, well, what'd you say, what'd you say? Like, oh, you weren't listening. You know, and in person, eye contact is huge. In sports, I learned from all my coaches, if you're not looking me in the eye, I can't trust you. I remember, I remember getting beat on a play. I looked at my quarterback, Byron, I said, hey, Byron, man, I'm sorry. He said, Marks, I'm looking in your eyes, I can see it, go to the next play. That's, you know, that's just real. When you look people in the eye and give them eye contact, that means that you are truly engaged in the conversation and you want to know what they're saying so you can potentially help them and they can hopefully help you. So listen genuinely. Create real value for them. This is where a lot of people end up falling short because if someone tells you what they need, as a potential client, you, people sometimes will say, well, this is what I need. Instead of saying, okay, I know what you need, I appreciate you telling me that, let me do some research to try to help you solve your problem. And this is where people have to come to the table and say, if I don't get a sale from this or a partnership, it's okay, I just hope down the line it turns into something more. But the more you come ready to create real value, more times than not, you will get the sale eventually. If you're coming to the table trying to get the sale and push it for the sale, and you're not trying to be authentic, create value, be genuine, people just pull away and walk away. Ladies and gentlemen, three and a half years ago, that was who I was. I was marketing very aggressively, overbearingly. When it came to sale, I was always about, well, how can I get a doll from that person? Today, I'm all about, I plant a seed, I let it grow. How can I create value for them? If it turns into a job, great. If it doesn't, great. There are people in this room who I'm coaching in real estate knowledge. There are people in this room who I've talked to that I'm not coaching. But you know what? If I'm coaching you or I'm not coaching you, I'm gonna talk to you the same way. It's okay. I don't want to be that guy that only talks to people because you're my, giving me money. That's not what it is for me. It's about how can I help you in any way that I can to help you become successful. And the more you do that, the more you end up getting the sale. Just the way it is. And the last one, do diligent follow-up. Always set a policy of how to follow up with people consistently. I tell people all the time, if you talk to somebody on a Monday, 
If they don't tell you when to have a, a follow-up call, try to have it within a week or less. Because if you go past a week, people might forget you, they might be going to other things. A week or less follow-up for me has worked very well. And I believe it worked very well for you in your business as well. No matter what type of real estate you're doing. So if you can follow this process to succeed in sales, I hope and I'm very confident you will get more sales and increase your bottom line and your profitability.